what's up guys chaos here bringing you guys the final piece to our red zone mini scheme so i'm in single back wing tight you guys saw the run plays uh those are in any pretty much any single back wing tight whatever you guys whatever you guys are running probably will have it however if you guys haven't seen the last video i'll put the whole the whole uh playlist right here in the cards but so the run plays are out of any book but the pass play from last video and this video are going to be out of chargers or broncos so the, that those both those playbooks that they have x post which is only in those two. I don't know why it's only in those two, but since those two are the only ones with it, we're gonna be in that. But it's perfect because if you guys don't already, make sure you guys check out my ebook below. My ebook is in Chargers and Broncos playbook for trips tight end. Now this is gonna be a free mini scheme to add on to that. I, that wasn't in the ebook, and I think it'll help you guys. It's something I've added recently to my game. I've started using it, and it's really really helpful, especially because it's hard to score in the red zone. So having a like a high ball scheme with good runs. Really will help you and, it, and lastly at the end of this video i'm going to put um basically a crosser high ball glitch from trips tight end that also isn't in the ebook so two free things that you guys can use if you guys are already using my scheme or you can put it into your own scheme and just utilize it but trips tight end has a really good crosser that'll help you get touchdowns in the red zone as well so that's the end of the video uh but we're going to start in the single back win type then we'll jump into that so let's get it man okay guys so you guys see we're still in single back wing type something worth mentioning for this video so it wasn't important for the last video because you weren't throwing to them but for this video you're gonna see on the packages right next to my face cam you guys see six o-linemen right there right now if you have six o-linemen but you only have five o-linemen if you have the six o-linemen package you're gonna get a wide receiver there now so if you're in salary cap uh, if you're in mutt or something something like that you guys will be able to get the wide receiver there if you only have five o-linemen now if you're in regs you're out of luck you're not gonna be able to get them there however it's not that important for regs just because the tight end will still go get it for you but it makes it even better if you can put a wide receiver there like randy moss is someone that just goes and gets it for you so we'll come out of the x post here still want your post on the wide side and if you guys haven't seen the, the last video i'll put it in the card above me it'll be right here uh, right here i'll put it above me and something i talked about a lot was was pocket presence i'll talk about it one time here if you're good if you're gonna cancel your drop back because single back makes you go back super far Choose the left stick, go left or right, and you'll cancel your drop back. Now, I talked about it a lot more in depth in the last video. It'll be in the cards. Make sure you guys check that out. It's also the same play out of X spot or X post, but it's really, really, really good, and it's worth giving it a look as well. So, without further ado, let's jump into this part. So, you're going to motion over the crosser, you're going to curl uh, Saber, you're going to flat circle, and you're going to drag Julio. So, this is the setup. The crosser is the main read, but other things will get open for you as well, and I'll show you guys that during the video. Now, I'm going to start off with this hard flat. They play hard flats for whatever reason out of cover two. This crosser is going to be butt naked. It's not even going to be close. So just go and get it for you. And it's an easy touchdown, right? I don't need to show that for you guys anymore. You guys can clearly see it's going to get over hard flats. Okay, guys, sorry. I had to cut, move the ball up a little bit. Now, you guys can see it clearly gets over the hard flat with this crosser, right? So I'm not going to show you guys that anymore, as I said. Now I'm going to show you guys about inside the five. It's important. Make sure you guys know inside the five, okay? This crosser is going to get over the cloud. It's going to sit in such a good spot. So you guys can see it clearly on the cloud on the left side. Watch it. I'm going to show you guys in the replay. But watch him come down rather quickly. And you can highball this crosser. Now, I might even have thrown it a little bit early. Still caught it. But I'm going to show you guys now on the replay that the guy kind of takes a step down towards our, towards our flat. Right here. You see that? That little, that little hitch right there by him gives us a pocket to throw this crosser in the back of the end zone. I don't know why they do that, but it's going to do it rather consistently, and it gives you a, a great pocket to throw this crosser in. Right there again, perfect. You guys can clearly see it. The guy comes down. Don't ask me why. I don't know, but it's something I found, and it's something I'm going to do out of trips tight end as well for you guys in a second, just to show you guys it's universal. If you guys have a, if you guys have a cross like this in your book. Outside of this formation and any other formation, it'll work for you. So you guys see right there, it works. Now, to guard it, I'm going to show you guys how to guard it. You deep quarter. Now, you can probably still throw it safely without throwing a pick most of the time, especially if you're able to get a wide receiver here. However, it's going to guard it a lot better because the guy's not going to come down on the flat. So he still gets behind him. If you throw it accurately, might catch it, might not. But that's the best way to guard it however it's really really good especially like 
people are usually cloud. They're not gonna even if they're in if they're in cover four, cover three, cover two, whatever. They're usually gonna have a cloud on the outside because you don't need them to play as deep. Now a pro player, they might have a deep quarter out there, knowing that stuff like this can get over it. And we still got it. You guys can see it's glitchy, man. It's glitchy. Nah, but you guys can see it. That's I mean that's basically it. I'll show you guys a couple quick other reads from it that you guys can do. However, the cross is really the main focus. You catch them slipping with a hard flat or a cloud flat out there, and you guys can throw it. Um, now I'm gonna show you guys a late read from this drag. And I'll show you guys this curl route that you can throw. So right here, you fit that drag in, and I'll show you why. Because everything else over there is occupied now. If they have the sleepiest user ever, that'll be open for you now. If they have any type of user of anything. You're probably not gonna be able to throw that drag because everything is guarded with the, with the deep quarter out here. But like I said, that's a deep quarter out there. You can still try that. Like, if I'm being honest, I'm trying that, but that's just me. But I'll show you guys, oh, I meant to show you guys why the drag is open. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry boys. I hope you didn't have headphones in. <laughs> but the, the flat holds the flat zone and then it gives you great space to throw this drag. And then you can also, just always highball the curl. Highball the curl, get lucky, win games, right? So I'm gonna cut right here. I'm gonna show you guys the trip side in this cross, the same as that crosser, but uh, that's it for this part of the wing tight. If you guys are only interested in the wing tight, you gotta cut the video, drop a like for me, but if you guys are interested in the crosser, let's move on to that. Okay, boys, so you see we're in trip side in. You guys can do it at a shot post or you can do it at a counter go, whichever one you guys would rather do. It's up to you guys. Uh, I'm just gonna do it at a shot post personally, just because it makes it easier for the setup. You're just gonna flat hooper, and then you can zig or hitch Ridley. Um, I'm just gonna zig him for the sake of this video. Now, obviously, you want your best spec edge guy to be at the crossing spot because that's what you're gonna be agging. So I'm gonna move Julio Jones over, and we're just gonna show you guys that he's gonna be able to go get it. It's gonna get to a really good spot on the field, and you just let him go ag it. I don't know why that spot. It doesn't even look open. I promise it doesn't. But I'm telling you, if you watch me play, watch me play on Twitch. See my YouTube videos lately? I catch this a lot. And the better the player, the easier it's going to get. Um, he just gets to such a good spot, and he almost always comes down with it. That one-on-one -on -one animation, he doesn't even realize the safety is there. Sorry, guys, I had to cut out for that. But you guys just saw the catch. I don't know what it is about this glitch, but it really works, and it really helps. Um, if, they, if they're in cover two, like, you can just throw this thing almost no matter what. Uh, just let Julio go get it and If they if they th overthrow it, it's out of bounds if they throw it accurately You're probably gonna ag them. You're gonna get into a one-on-one -on -one animation a lot And it's gonna help you. It's gonna help you be successful really I mean if you can score in the red zone, which is something I've been doing a lot using this lately. It's gonna help you to improve Right there They were able to knock it out, but it's relatively a safe read. I mean, I'm not I'm not worried about that throw and they're never going to pick it because it's probably just going to go out of bounds. The only way they'll pick it is if they tip it to each other, which happens maybe once out of a hundred times. It's like right there, they're just going to tip it out of bounds and you just kind of let it go get it. And it works really well for me. Uh, it's probably better in mutt than it is in regs naturally, but it works well in regs too. Let, like, let Julio just go get that in the corner of the end zone. You guys are seeing, I'm just throwing it over and over. I don't have to really show you guys much else. I don't really throw anything else on this play. Maybe the S post over the middle if they happen to be in perfect cover too, but really, it really is just throw the crosser, hope you get a good ag. It, I mean, and if they knock it out of bounds, they knock it out of bounds. But hope you guys enjoy, man. The mini scheme out of wing tight is really good. I hope you guys will utilize that. I know I have been. And if you guys are in trip side in, shoot, go throw this out there. Get better. You know what I mean? Like, add stuff to your game. I've been adding stuff for most of the year. Uh, you can't stay the same way. If you keep the same dots that you have from September, October, November, you won't be successful in May. So, hope you guys enjoyed, man. If you did, like, like comment, and subscribe. But take it easy, man. I love y'all. Peace.